Okay, so today we'll be going through how to make a uh, chili garlic spray. Uh, this works against uh, white flies and uh, spider mites. Okay, now very simple. Um, ingredients. All you need is some uh, chili and uh, garlic, peeled garlic, alright? And uh, the type of chili that I'm using is, uh, I think we got, I got, I got it from local uh, supermarket here. It's called Red Chili Party. Okay. It's a, it's a Thai red chili that they use in um, tom yum soup. Okay, now, so all you need is uh, as well as uh, um, I'm recycling this container. It's about half a half a half a liter, 500 ml, and um, um, all you need to do is just have a blender, put put all the ingredients in there. Now, uh, the amount I'm using of uh, this chili is about 10 pieces, and then the garlic is about uh, more five. So depending on the strength of the uh, um, that you wish to 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 ha have in the uh, to use, but what what's happening is that it's going to be quite concentrated in this. So I'm going to further dilute it with uh, with water when I'm using it. I'll show you how later. All right. So now, so all you need to do is just put everything into the the blender. All right. Okay. And uh, after which. Okay. And all you need to do is okay. Make sure it's switched on and just blend. Okay, that should be good enough. And after which, uh, you take it out, and I think you want to give it a good shake so that you know all. It all falls to the bottom easier for you to, and then you know when you open it up, it doesn't all fall. It gets everywhere. Okay, so now what you need to do is just put everything into the pot here yeah, using a spoon. Okay. Okay, let's scrape a little bit more from here. Okay, and then just put everything into the bottle. Okay. No, it's it's gonna be really spicy and. Uh, very garlicky, very strong garlic smell. So you will want to avoid touching it with your hands. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour in some hot water that I put about, about five minutes ago. Now, I'm gonna steep it like a tea, all right? Uh, or coffee, yeah? And then uh, I'm gonna let this sit for, to cool down. After which you can put it in the fridge for, I think uh, generally I use it within uh, no more than two weeks, okay? And uh, the longer it sits, uh, the more potent it gets. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to uh, decant it into the uh, spray container. Okay, okay, so this, as you can see, is uh, what I prepared the, the night before. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, it's, it's, it's really simple. So, what you could do is you take it out from the fridge and then you have a, a funnel, okay, a sieve. Alright, simple. And then all you need to do is uh, okay, pour it into and, uh, and then you can be sure that no sediments get into the bottle. Yeah. Now you notice that uh, uh, you know I'm not using everything from the bottle because uh, it's actually quite potent in there. It's, 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 uh, it's way too concentrated and uh, I think uh, for use you should uh, estimate how much you need based on the um, you know depends on the plants that you're spraying it on. Okay, so what I norm what I usually do is, uh, this is a 750 ml bottle. I'll top it up with water, after which uh, I can put it in the fridge and uh, 
um, if I don't use it, I'll just put it back in and then uh, in the fridge again and it's ready to be used. Okay, and I find that this is the most convenient way of, uh, of um, you know, uh, having it ready for to, to be used every day. Um, okay, I think that's about it. Um, perhaps next time I'll show a video of how to actually apply on the plants and, you know, what to look out for. Um, thank you.